Hello everyone! <laughs> welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber or a viewer. <laughs> my name is Nima and this is here is Nima. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, my baby. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded and yeah, thus the title of this video. Um, and the topic for today, <laughs> I have just not been feeling inspired, point blank period. I think we all go through times where we have that happen to us, where we just don't feel inspired. And if you are on a journey where you as a woman want to live in your authenticity, you are on this journey of embracing your feminine essence. We talk about that here. We talk about the feminine energy work. We talk about all of these things on this channel. So I want you to, first of all, subscribe um, because we are in the same boat here. And then also, um, yeah, like this video, you like what I have to say. But um, mostly, I just wanted to kind of come on. Um, I felt inspired officially now to, to kind of just confront this and kind of share with you all like my methods and my kind of route that I like to take when I do get into this funk or this like kind of a lull where I'm just not really feeling inspired and um you know inspired from that space that that feminine energy flow space um and if you know anything about YouTube or if you're a content creator or really this can relate to a lot of different things um for me specifically in YouTube I have had several times where I have come on camera and I have filmed and I have done a second take and a third take and a fourth take and I have not liked the result. It did not feel genuine. It, it felt forced. It did not feel like it was genuine to me. I didn't feel like it was coming from a real sp space. It just didn't feel like something that I wanted to put out for you all to see. And, you know, I'm very big on, I don't want to watch, I don't want to make videos where I feel like I wouldn't personally watch my own videos. So I'm big on that. Um, and so I just kind of took a little break and I think that's honestly going to have to be like one of my first, I guess, like methods that I have to share with you all is just sometimes you need an effing break. Like honest to God, life is crazy okay we've literally got a million different things going on um you know we are dealing with a lot sometimes there where there are times in life where you're just gonna have you know more um I guess serious matters and more um you know I guess pressing issues that are taking up your time and your energy and your you know your mental capacity and things like that so you just can't come from that space, that creative space and, and, and flow to really kind of get that result that you're looking for, whether it be if you're an artist, whether it be if you're a content creator, or whether it even be if you're a writer or even in your work. I think sometimes we just really need to take a break, especially as a woman who is, you know, wanting to kind of embrace her feminine energy and live her life in that space of her authenticity and really coming from that, you know, space where you're you're living your life predominantly in that feminine um essence and energy. Um which is the goal. <laughs> so, sometimes it's just a matter of taking a break not putting that pressure on yourself, letting yourself kind of, you know, relax, do nothing, you know, lay in bed for a couple of extra minutes or an hour, like sleep in occasionally if you need it, uh, take a nap. I don't know why that popped into my mind, but I love, I'm, if you know me personally, you know that I actually love sleep. Guilty. I can sleep through a lot of stuff, guys. I have literally slept through some, like, crazy things. And that's kind of something that is, it's probably not, like, the best thing. But what can I say? Um, sleep is important. It is very important. So, you know, and even if it isn't sleep, you know, just kind of taking time to do, to focus on just even doing the basic things. If you feel stressed or if you feel like you've got too much on your plate, just, you know, take it easy focus on doing, you know, the basic things that you know you need to do, um, you know, and just kind of take a breather, do something enjoyable, you know, with your time, which kind of leads me into my next, 
um, little point here. Reconnecting with yourself. I am big on reflection. I am big on journaling. I am big on, you know, meditating and taking, and even prayer, actually big on prayer, big on meditating. And just taking that time to really, really reconnect with yourself, your, your innermost thoughts, your innermost feelings. Be honest with yourself at least once a day. I personally, I have gotten into a great habit of journaling every single day. And that has really, really helped me grow. And I just started doing that recently. And I'm a person where I have kept a journal since I was like 10 or 11. So, you know, I would write in it occasionally here, a little bit here, a little bit there. But doing it every single day, wow. Like, um, just having that space to really just be able to express myself and really just kind of record my innermost thoughts and feelings and kind of unload and just have that moment to be self self-reflective has been really, really huge and a major key in, um, my growth as far as in the last, I would say like month to two months. Um, and Yes, I would definitely say that that's something that I feel is important when it comes to reconnecting with yourself. Um, spending time alone. You know, a lot of people hate spending time alone. They feel like they need a, someone else to do something with them, whatever it may be, whether it's going to the grocery store. Um, I've known some girls like that where they just they just feel weird doing just about anything by themselves or they feel a little bit odd or uncomfortable or just... I don't know, maybe even scared. Um, and, you know, of course, there are certain situations and scenarios where, you know, it's probably better to have somebody with you. But I would say, honestly, in your day to day life um, and, you know, doing pretty much most things, it's perfectly OK and it's perfectly um, healthy for you to be okay to do things alone and to be okay with that and to really feel secure in doing things by yourself. Um, I'm a person where I love my alone time. I love my alone time. I will go out to eat by myself. I've done it several times. And I used to think that that was something that was a weird thing to do. But when I started solo traveling, I had no choice basically or I could have just you know gotten takeout everywhere I went and and that's really no fun especially when you're in a new exciting place um you never know who you might meet and you just you want to have the best experience possible and I've kind of adopted that mindset throughout my life is I just want to have the best experience possible whether I'm with friends or whether I'm with myself or whether I'm with family or whoever I just want to experience things to the max and I I go with kind of what I feel right so I think, you know, all in all, all that being said, being kind of intuitive, which, you know, what helps with being intuitive, I feel, is having that reflective time with yourself, spending time with yourself, you know, in multiple different ways, actually physically spending time with yourself and also spending time doing some inner work, doing some reflective, um, you know, journaling and things like that, meditating and prayer and all of those things. Um, it kind of all works together. And that, I think when you kind of get into that space, a lot of the times inspiration will just come. You will, you will, you will be so inspired. You will literally have ideas flowing from your brain all the way down to your fingertips, just like writing in your journal. It has happened to me. It continues to happen to me. So that is a big one. I also want to say, um, Another thing that is really, really great when um, wanting to kind of get that feminine inspiration back, rev up those engines again, and kind of be able to retreat and recharge and get that back would be trying something new, changing up your routine, changing up everything and anything, whether it's rearranging the furniture in your space. Um, or changing your hairstyle, or playing in your closet, making new outfits, wearing new outfits, putting new things together that you've never done before, doing your makeup a different way, going out shopping, getting some new things. I'm a big um, proponent of just like going out. I love to window shop, <laughs> and I love um, thrifting, and I love like bargain hunting, and that is something that you could, if you take a Saturday and you just decide, you know what, I'm just going to go... You know, I'm going to go to a few shops and I'm just going to 
look around and see what I can find. You know, maybe see if I can add a few pieces into my current wardrobe. And you know what you have. You know how we do, ladies. You know what you have in your brain. Like, you can kind of shuffle through your closet in your mind, see what goes with what. And it's fun, and it's creative, and it's something where you're getting yourself out there, and you are literally creating. Um, and you're using your imagination. And a lot of the times when I do that, I end up feeling so much just um, cre like creativity spark up, inspiration. I just feel like I'm a little bit new in a way. And um, that's a really great kind of way to just kind of like rev up those engines again. Um, but even if it's just as simple as like going for a drive, finding a new, you know, spot. I literally just did that today. I actually wasn't even planning on it, but I, I was actually on my way to the movies and I saw like there's a Cajun soul food place that I'd never heard of before and never seen before. Didn't even know that it was, you know, kind of sort of in my neighborhood. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is new. You know, I just, I don't know. Like there's, there's something about that. And I'm big on like, I love to try new restaurants. I love just like anything new, any place that's new. Um, you know, if you want to grab a girlfriend and go and try something different, something new that you've never done before. I mean, these are the things that keep us just fresh and keep life juicy and fun and adventurous. And it may not even need to be like something, you know, super big or huge. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you don't have to travel outside of the country to have that in your life. Taking up a new hobby that you've always wanted to do. Personally for me, I have always wanted to learn how to horseback ride and I've been on horse horses before but I don't actually like I've never actually taken lessons I've never actually kind of gone the full through the full kind of like training or whatever so that's something that I am actually getting to do next week I'm super duper excited um because it's been on my short list for a while um and I actually just a quick tip I found a Groupon and I was able to get lessons for like super cheap, super duper cheap. So if you are somebody where you just, you're, you're have that adventurous kind of thing in you, you're wanting to kind of shake up your life, do something new, do something different, especially now that the world's opening back up, check out Groupon because there's a ton of really, really great Groupons on there. Another thing that I'm going to, I just sharing you guys with you guys, like my life, <laughs> life update um I'm also going to be taking salsa dancing lessons ah! um and I also found that on Groupon so check out Groupon because they've got a lot of really awesome awesome deals you would be surprised seriously because I was not even looking for that but once I saw that and salsa dancing and like ballroom dancing is something that I've always wanted to do I've always wanted to take lessons in that um and I'm just really really like excited that I get the opportunity to kind of start that and um I think that even from that, it's going to really just kind of, it's it's just going to enhance, you know, all of these things just enhance you. They enhance you as a person. They enhance you as an individual. And they also serve as really, really great inspiration. And not only do you learn, but you would, you would learn things about yourself and you would learn things about you know, other people and other topics and other environments and, and all of these different things. You may not even realize that that's what you're signing up for, but it's it enriches you in ways that you won't even realize until you actually get into it. And from that, that is where your inspiration, you know, is born. That is where inspiration comes from. That is where that's really the birthplace. So... I encourage you to shake up your life routines. I encourage you to try something new, even if it's just cooking a new recipe, which, oh my gosh, our kitchen is actually being redone right now. And so I really, really miss being in the kitchen. I can't wait until everything is done so that I can take you guys in the kitchen with me and we can cook up some new recipes and do some new stuff because y'all know I love the lifestyle things. I love, you know, cooking new recipes and just playing around in the kitchen and having fun. But um, that is something that is a really, really, really easy way to just kind of spark up that inspiration. And last but not least, revisiting something old. 
revisiting old places you used to love, looking through the photo albums, whether it be on your phone or whether it be like a physical photo albums like from back in the day. Um, you know, revisiting those favorite foods and favorite restaurants that you used to love. Uh, revisiting those favorite movies and music that you used to love to listen to. I, I literally just did this a couple days ago. I'll tell you guys what I watched. I was just having so much fun with it too. You know, those little just teen girl movies, the movies that are like coming of age stories. That's the type of stuff that I grew up watching that I was like, that was my jam. That was my jam. Back in my tween years and teen years, that was my jam. I think, um sleepover the movie sleepover it's on um either amazon prime or netflix or something like that and i watched that the other day and i just oh my god it just made me so happy because i loved alexa vega and um you know she was in the spy kids movies you know i just i we grew up watching those we grew up watching them and it was so nostalgic like it was just so nostalgic i watched it and i thought to myself wow like, you know, this is so cute. This is so like, uh, it's so interesting just to think of who you were then and who you are now and kind of the correlations and the differences and what you thought life would be like and what it really is like. And it just kind of gives you some, some interesting perspective when you think back to kind of, you know, your childhood, um, even your childhood favorite movies, like, um, I was babysitting not too long ago and the little girl loved, she loves all of the Disney stuff, you know, Frozen, we've watched that. Um, and she loves Barbie and I used to love Barbie. And, you know, and that's another thing that, that's the reason why I just love kids because I'm totally a kid at heart. And, you know, I could sit there and watch Barbie movies with her all night long. I am not, you know, I am not opposed to that. I just, I love all of those like girly things. And so kind of revisiting that is just really fun. It kind of allows you to kind of just tap into a different side of you that you don't typically get to kind of be in touch with most of the time. Like your inner girl, you know, your inner child, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, and even just like even eating at your old favorite restaurants or jamming out to your old, some old music that you used to really love. Um, <laughs> it's just fun fun it's really just fun like I don't know um I would honestly say that's something that I think kind of also can spark up some some inspiration for sure um I felt that and if for nothing else it just makes you feel good it makes you smile it makes you laugh um and it just it's it's one of those feel good things but anyway guys <laughs> I hope that listening to this video and listening to this content gave you some ideas Hopefully, you know, if you implement them, let me know how they make you feel. Let me know, you know, how inspiration starts to spark up in your life and in your day to day and in your, you know, just in general. <laughs> um, and what happens? Because I would love, 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 love to hear about that. Um, anyways, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.